Greetings everybody, we're back with some more Super Metroid for the Super Nintendo. We're here in the refueling uh, room of the beating crate in the last episode. Finished off with that very weird ending. Oh, I have no idea what I did. I just attacked the microphone and then the episode just ended without my will. There's mini crate again, we can kill him how many times we ever want. And we can run and shoot missiles like crazy and we don't have to stop for any pony. Yeah. So now we're finished with this place. Almost. There's a little bit something else we need to do before we leave. I just like standing down here and shooting. Now when we have beaten a crate, a little door will be revealed right over there. And this room is a fucking nightmare. Look at these things. They just latch onto you. Like crazy. And I strain your health. And you wonder, what the fuck is the point of this room? Well, this is the point. Energy tank! Yep, we got 50% more health. So every energy tank you get, you get less and less percent more health. <sighs> See, right now it's um, half past 1 a.m. And we're gonna head down to Norfair! Man, I love this place, it's so cool! Oh shit, I dropped my controller. That wasn't me. I did not do it. <laughs> I did not hit her, I. I did not. Yes, this is no affair. No big affair in this place, so... Man, that was so bad. Okay, this room... You're not supposed to... Make, uh, Progress in, but if you do a running start and do... Like that... You can pass through this one just barely. And if you fail, like I just did... Then there's a way to get down again. I think it's... Uh, over here? Yes, it is. You can get back. I would really like to go over there right now and get the item, but I uh, guess that will have to wait. I'm not very good with that um, fast ball. Shit. There's a power bomb room. And this one is really weird why they placed a power bomb room here, because you're not supposed to have the power bomb now, as I've said many times. And you do get the map of this place. I, I just entered it. Wouldn't it be nice to have the map for it? But the game designers thought that no, having the map is not a good idea. And I think I know why, because this place down to the left, you're not gonna go there for a while. That place way down there, not gonna go there for a while. You see, so it, it's not to confuse the player, you see, there's many ways to go. But we know exactly what we need to do, right boy? Yes, we do. So first of all, we're gonna head in here. You can use the super missile on those doors. In order to open them quickly, more quickly. Energy tank! You see that little enemy? He's the one who is holding the key for the door to go back out. Now, normally you would chase him down there, but you can also do this <laughs> take this route and get the missile. And then shoot them on the way here. Never, okay, he be dead, boy. We got him. And now this item is very handy. Look at this. You see, we got get down here, but we can't go back up. Maybe this item can help us. Yes, we got the golden boots. The high jump boots. I wonder what they do. Woo! Jump much higher. Yes, because we want to, let's go ahead and take this route. Do everything backwards and kill him in the progress. Now this can be a little bit tricky. No oh, shit, I almost got it. Let's see. And uh, now we need to bomb it from this way. I don't think we can do... No, they're like that. Okay, so you can't go up here this way. Oh yes, you can. Awesome. Didn't know about that. You can't go down here, but uh, there's really no point, and I'll show why. There is one of those, you know, shoot from the other side, because I hate them! They just block you. <laughs> so much. 
I was uh, thinking to myself before starting this series that uh, is there anything in this game I don't like? Is this a perfect game? And more or less it is. This game is like a perfect game for me. There's nothing wrong with it. The only minor complaint I have about this game is that whenever you get an item or miss anything, you need to, you know, wait like, what is it, four seconds? It's not so bad, it's just a minor detail. Sequence breaking up here because we're so cool. I'm gonna wait for that first. Making up for the fact that I failed. There. We are here right away. There's really no point. We can just jump up this way instead. Man, the high jump makes it so much easier. Now the wall jump is much uh, more versatile. Oh, look at these enemies. So cute. Now, in one of these pits, there is, of course, a secret. What did you expect? What the hell are you doing down here, boy? Okay, right under there, there is something in the lava. See that shit? But the lava is hurt. Oh, shit! Okay, good. Now, when you are in water and you place a bomb, you will not jump from the explosion. So, that worked in our favor right there. So, lost a little bit of health, but that's worth it. Okay, the missile. That was one of the very last items I found in my very first 100% round. I tried to, you know, get 100% without the FAQ. And when I was little, there was no internet when I played this game so much and all that. Oh shit. So I had to find most of the items on my own. And then ask my brothers if they knew anything, but mostly they would be dicks and say, No, Krams, you have to figure that out by yourself. No, not really. But sometimes they did that, just to tease me. Because I was the little brother. I mean, I have three older brothers. Shit, these guys. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Look at this room. The marble room, or whatever you want to call it. Now, first of all, to do something right down here. This little thingy going back and forth, guarding a missile. You see this thing, you need to wait like five seconds and hear the same jingle. Even though the jingle is good, so no complaints there. It's a classic one. So um, normally you would go down here and progress through that area and then end up up there. But you know me by now, so I'm not gonna do that. I mean, um, you know, the normal route. I will still show every room and, you know, say how you would progress normally. He says that I think it's more fun to do it this way. So first gonna get rid of him, open the door so we can get more speed and then jump like fuck. And there you can wall jump, at the very end of that. But the first I want to kill the guy over there. Good, he's dead. And that guy as well. Come on, dude! I need you to die for me! Okay, good. Now be very careful so we don't reset the enemies. And then jump! Yeah! Now we're over here. You see, you come out from here and you go up. So I'm going to take the back way, I'm going to do the whole thing backwards instead. You see, this room is very weird. You think a new player would go in here and like, what the fuck? And uh, you don't have the map. Normal players don't have the map now, so it's like, what do I do in here? Well, you need to shoot there and jump up like that. These guys are so nice, they spawn in groups of five, as you can see when they go up. But if you shoot them when they are in a clunk or, you know, bundle, you kill all of them and you get, poof, many refillments. Very good farming place. And this room we need to run- oh, there they are! Okay, I was wrong, they are in more places than one. This room just keep on running, and you'll be fine. Come to this door and you're like, fuck, I have no missiles! No worries though, you can shoot that, that and take this missile. <laughs> See, it's good. 
So now I have 60. And in this beautiful room, we'll find the very... The very... I don't know, what is this? Samus, what the fuck? Hmm. We will take this right now. <clears throat> Speed boost! Now we can run even faster! Oh my god, the lava's rising! What the fuck am I supposed to do? See you next time! Woo!